गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर आरसी चौहान एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर सम्राट पृथ्वीराज चौहान गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज अजमेर टुडे विल बी डिस्कस एम एस सी फिजिक्स सेमेस्टर फोर्थ द पेपर इज सिक्सटीन ए दैट इज माइक्रो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड दैट इज रिलेटेड विद द यूनिट फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज माइक्रोवेव डिवाइसेस द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज द क्लिस्ट्रॉन ऑन द लास्ट टर्न वी हैव डिस्कस वाट मीन्स ऑफ क्लेस्ट्रॉन वाई वी नीड द क्लेस्ट्रॉन हाउ दैट इज फॉर्म टूडे वी वी डिस्कस द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द टू के वी टी क्लेस्ट्रॉन हाउ इट इज ऑपरेटेड सो फर्स्ट वील डिस्कस द प्रोसेस एंड देन वील वी गो थ्रू दिव एनालिस ऑफ इट सो स्टार्ट विद द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द टू के वी टी क्लेस्ट्रॉन द एक्सलेटेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बीम पासिस थ्रू ए गेप इन द एनोड इन टू ए रीजन बिटवीन द पेयर ऑफ क्लॉज डिस्पेस्ड पंचर बिल्ड मीन्स वेन द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द इलेक्ट्रॉन गन एंड देन दिल पासिस थ्रू द पंचर बिल्ड और कैन से पस्ट गेप अक्रॉस विच द आर एफ वोल्टेज एग्जिस्ट देन इट पासिस थ्रू द ड्रिफ्ट स्पेस एंड देन द अनादर पेयर ऑफ द केचर बिल्ड द सेकेंड गेप द फाइनली कलेक्टेड बाय द कलेक्टर सो दिस इज द प्रोसेस first produced by the electron gun second it is passes through the arc field which is called the buncher field which produces the bunching of the electrons and then it passes through the a gap between these two that is called the drift space and then it will passes the second grid and that is called the catcher grid and the finally collected by the collector so the buncher cavity is kept at the mostly at the same dc voltage at the anode The electron emerging from the buncher grid are velocity modulated due to the presence of an RF voltage, and the conversion of the velocity modulated electron into the density modulation. While passing in the drift space, the grip gap between the two types of the grid, and then process is called the drift space bunching. Because it will bunch in the different groups of the electrons. This phenomenon is called called commonly bunching, and it is the result of the velocity modulation produced at the first gap of the buncher grid. When these bunches enter into the second grid, second gap, but catcher grid, during the retarding phase of the RF field of the catcher resonator and the RF input of the first resonator, that is buncher cavity, and the amplified at the catcher grid. so what means of this that first it will be go from the first gap where it will be produce the velocity increase or decrease according on the signal or up signal and that will be converted into the velocity modulation and then in between these two there will be the bunching of this one or you can see the density modulation is there and the finally it is passed through the second grid and that is the KVT resonator, or you can see the catcher KVT, and that is also the amplified because the voltage is increased here. The both KVTs are identical, are tuned to the natural frequency of the KVT. Means all three points have the same frequency, and which is also the frequency of the input signal. The input signal, bunching KVT, and the catcher KVT, all are at the same frequency. and the finally emerging electrons with the reduced velocity from second gap are the collected by the collector so these two kvt electron is capable up to the 100 gigahertz now we will discuss the quantitative analysis that is velocity modulation what means of velocity modulation the variation of the velocity of the electrons in the electron beam is non velocity modulation means changing or the variation of this one velocity of the electrons that process is called the velocity modulation according the input signal input or up signal or you can say in a singles the electrons present in electron beam produced by the electron gun means electron gun is responsible to produce electrons and they are accelerated by a dc anode voltage v0 passing through a pair of buncher grid across which are a potential that is v1 sin omega t exist here the omega is frequency of the input signal and it is also equal to the resonant frequency of the first cavity also and the v1 is the p 
peak voltage of the RF applied at a first grid due to which the electrons are either accelerated or deaccelerated depends on the part of the input cycle during which they cross the gap because it is the AC signal is there if it is in the positive potential then it will be get accelerated it is in the negative potential then it will be the deaccelerated or the retarded so the electrons which are accelerated among emerge with the higher velocity and these are those are deaccelerated have the lower velocity than the original velocity produced by the potential V0. Some of the electron also move with the same velocity as the signal because it is at the zero or a potential because the sine curve and it is crosses the the y equal to zero axis then it is a it is zero potential so there is no change in the velocity also. So there are the three types of the electrons emerges from this first grid one have the same velocity as the original second one that have the higher velocity than the original and the third one that is the lower velocity than the original so that is the velocity modulation is there so it is assumed that the time taken by electron to cross the grid is very very small than the cycle of the RF signal because the gap is very small so the velocity of the electrons before entering the puncture grid is 1 by 2 mv 0 square E V0, where capital V0 is an odd cathode potential difference, the small V0 is the reference velocity and the velocity which is produced by that the electron gun. So the velocity V0 is equal to twice E V0 by the M E by M the charge to the mass ratio of this one. The energy of the electrons emerging from the first gap at time T1 is E V0 equal to <coughs> E we have substituted the value of this one. So the E V equal to E V0 plus V1 sin omega T1 because now the potential difference is also added of the RF field. So the E V0 equal to 1 plus V1 by the V0 sin omega T1. The kinetic energy at the time T1 is equal to 1 by 2 m V1 square equal to or uh, it is equal to the E V and E V0 equal to 1 plus V1 by V0 sin omega T1. So the V1 or can say velocity at the time T1 equal to V1 equal to right root of the twice E V0 by the M plus 1 plus V1 by the V0 sin omega T1. So this will be give the velocity at the time T1 of the emerging electrons from the first grid V1 equal to V0 root of the 1 plus the v1 by v0 sin omega t1 is don't confuse here because the small v0 and v1 are the velocities related and the capital v1 and v0 are related with the potentials <coughs> so it is also known as the v1 we can write v also muscle books they are using this one so small v equal to the v0 root of the 1 plus alpha sin omega t1 where the v1 is the velocity at the time t1 or the v also and the v0 is initial velocity at the time t equal to 0 that is inducted electrons velocity and the alpha we are using the v1 by the v0 depth of modulation it is called depth of modulation that uh, how modulation is there if the v1 is greater than that is the high depth of this one that is equal to the rest of the rf field potential difference for the first grid and there will be v0 is the dc voltage so if the alpha is very very small then we use the binary theorems expansion and that is 1 plus x power half equal to 1 plus x by 2 so it is reduced in this form v equal to v0 multiplied by 1 plus alpha by 2 sin omega t1 so this is the velocity modulator equations and we can con conclude for this one that first the sources successive electrons are not traveling with the same velocity when they leave the first gate. The entering electrons have all those the same velocity, but the emerging electrons from the first gate is not safe. The electrons which leave the gate at that time corresponding to the omega t equal to 2 pi n, and n equal to the integers 0, 1, 2, 3, all numbers, so you can see, will move with the same velocity because they are the sin omega t when equal to 0 there is no effect of the rf field so that is the both velocity are same so that is this there is no change in the velocity 
but the electrons which leave the width time corresponding omega t1 equal to plus pi by 2 then it is called sin omega t1 is now it is plus 1 that is a higher value so we obtain the v maximum and v maximum equal to v0 multiplied by 1 plus alpha by 2 and for if omega t1 equal to minus pi by 2 then we get the velocity minimum v0 multiplied by 1 minus alpha by 2 so the electrons which leaves the time interval in between the pi by 2 omega in between in 0 and this one that will be slow down and the time for the 0 to pi by 2 omega will be more fast so this is the velocity modulation so the electrons being with the velocity modulated and the equation for fifth and the third and the non the equation of the velocity modulation so this is all about the velocity modulation produced in the klystron and this is the basic part of the principle of or the operation of these two kvt clusters. so this is sufficient for today have a good day thank you Ah, <sighs> mm-hmm.